Okay, so we loosen that up. We got underneath that with a knife. And we can peel this up carefully. Okay. And there's these two screws here which hold the back of the housing on. slides out. Should slide out anyway, it's starting to slide out. Was, there's a little like an indent that was catching on the trim pot for the red and blue control. Well, I thought that was all that was holding it. So something else appears to be tidying. Ah, I see. There is a wire going to this board right there. There we go. And that's the viewfinder assembly with the tiny about one inch CRT there. Okay, now we have the basic camera assembly. And there's really not much more to tear up, tear apart here. Um, this is the SATICON tube here. It's I'm not going to remove that because I don't want to to um, mess with the alignment or anything. But it looks appears to be a Hitachi tube, and if we move the filters out of the way, we can see the image sensor or not image sensor but the front of the tube and now we'll go ahead and put it all back together Oh, and I just noticed I forgot to reconnect the ground, so I'm going to have to remove this other board again. We're just going to pause it for that. Okay, now I actually had to refer back to the service manual because as I was putting it back together, there's a number of connectors that are the same, and two of them are not used. This one here, CN011, or CN011, is used for testing purposes as stated in the schematic and CN003 is also used for factory adjustment. Um, so this here is the process board and this board on the other side here which is on the other side of this schematic is the deflection board for the CRT. So let's get this out of the way and continue putting it back together.
Okay, now as my camera is almost out of battery, we're going to skip the putting the handle back on and uh, the rest of the screws that hold the case together and we're just going to give it a t quick test to make sure it's still working. Okay, so it's now powered on and we'll flip it to standby. And you can't see the picture on there, but it is working. So there we have it. Teardown of a Panasonic WV 3060 video camera from 1987. Thanks for watching.